Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Man. Or should I say, damn, damn, damn. That's what everybody going to be saying right now, man. That's this. We just got to say it just because, man. Y'all know why we here, man. The passing of John Amos. R.I.P. to John Amos, man. 84 years old. Died of natural causes. Um, if y'all don't know who he is, man, he was the father on Good Times. He did all type of stuff, man. He, um, Roots. Yo, that was crazy. I, I forgot he even played in that, man. Um, the Beastmaster. Have y'all seen that? Yeah, that was dope, too. One of my favorites, man. The Watermelon Heist. He played in that old Corey Hoka movie, man. Um, but he best known for his role as the father in um, Coming to America. Um, who's the, Mr. McDowell. You know, he had the two daughters, man. Um, I don't even know if he played in Coming to America, too. I haven't seen that one time, man. That movie was so trash, man. But, yo, that ain't why we here, man. We here to talk about the, the life and legacy of John Amos, man. R.I.P. to him. Um, I'm seeing reports that they say he passed away August um, 21st. Today is the 1st of October, but they saying the 21st he passed away, man, of natural causes. I don't know, man. But, yo, this, it's probably between him and his family. They, you know, they ain't want to let nobody know yet that it's coming out today and let people know, man. But R.I.P. to John Amos, man. 84 years old. Natural causes, man. I did not see that on the, um, coming, you know. So, y'all just love y'all peoples, man, who y'all got out there, man, because, yo. It's crazy out here in this world, man. Y'all give y'all love and y'all condolences to his peoples, man. Y'all look him, look up his address. Not his address. His um his social media, his peoples of any sort and sign. If y'all it's anything y'all see his name on, man, go click on it, show him some love and show his people some love, man, because you know they dealing with that right now. The passing of their father, grandfather, uncle, granddaddy, brother, I don't know. That man, life and legacy, man. But yo, y'all know what I'm talking about, man. Anyway. I just had to come show some love, man, to John Amos. I, my son just told me that he said, um, John Amos passed away. I'm like, man, I know the famous Amos Cookie dude died. I'm like, he said, nah, the other dude. I'm like, oh, word. How you know about him? And he just said he just seen it come across his news feed, too. I'm like, damn. Because, you know, I be doing videos and stuff, you know. And he just he brought that to my attention, man. So, shout out to my son, too. Because I did not know this. I just, I had to look it up myself. And I'm like, damn. Then they say he passed away the 21st, though. So like I said, man, maybe maybe his people just you know kept it you know had to get their stuff in order and everything and you know they had to let, let his family grieve and all this stuff because they ain't got to tell nobody when he passed away, man. I mean, you know they put it out public now though. So I rap PJ Amos, man. I go live in the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking myself just like this. I just gotta come through and highlight me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all them good buttons you gotta hit to get this pimp that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. And RIP to John Amos. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right, this time, but I'll be back, and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.